Now let us see the new experiment. Programming 806 to arrange the given numbers in descending order. In the last video we have seen how to arrange the given numbers in ascending order. If you look at the program, program remains same. Only the change you can observe here is for descending order I changed only this instruction to J and B instead of J. As usual, like the previous program, let us see the logic of this program. The program. First look at the first two numbers, whether if they are in ascending order, exchange. Otherwise, if they are in descending order, there will be no change in the program. So in here it is, in this case we need exchange. So first number will become 78, next will become 34. Now this 34 will be in comparison with next number. They are in descending order okay, so I need not change. Now numbers will become 78, 34, 12. Now this 12 will again in comparison with next number 56. They are in actually in ascending order. I need to exchange them. So it will become 78, 34. Here I will get 56 and here I will get 12. But after this step again I have to check whether these two numbers are in descending order or not. They are not in descending order. 34 is a smaller number than 56. So let us exchange them. So this will become 78, 56, 34, then next 12 comes. Like that we have to exchange the numbers if the numbers are not in descending order and again we have to compare with the previous number and the previous number. Now you can see 78 is greater than 56, it is greater than 34, it is greater than 12. Like that you compare with all the numbers and finally we will get 78, sorry, 99, 78, 56, 34, 12, 7 and 01. Like this numbers will be arranged in a descending order. So for in order to implement that logic, we need a program like this. As it is clear that all the underlying red color and underlines are assembly directives, green color underlines are registers, black color underlines are instructions and these are the labels. Now coming to the logic of the program, how did, it, how did we implement this? First I am copying the number that is first number into A L and then I am incrementing SI, SI is incremented to second memory location. Now I am comparing the first number which is there in A L with the second number. So you observe clearly here, I wrote instruction LEA, LEA SI comma A, load effective address it is loading the effective orders of A and SI is acting like a pointer to that memory. A is nothing but the name of the numbers which are there in the memory. So I am calculating its address and storing that value into SI. So SI is initially pointing to this memory location. I copied that number into AL then incrementing SI. SI is now pointing to this memory location. I am comparing both of them. First number with second number as explained in the logic. If the numbers require any change like if they are in ascending order I need to change otherwise I have to continue with no change so I am checking that J and B jump if no borrow or jump if that particular bit is not set I am checking so if it is if there is no change required if the condition is satisfied it will go to no change and then it will go to the loop in loop and it will continue the process it will take this number into AL and SI will be incremented and these two numbers will be in comparison. Like that this process completes, repeats, not, not completes. Now if this condition is not satisfied, that is if the numbers are in ascending order instead of descending order, then it will do exchange, exchange of AL comma A of SI. Then again I am moving that number into the previous location than where the SI is currently pointing. So like that the numbers will be arranged either in ascending order or descending order depending upon this logic. This J and B bit or J B bit will decide whether the numbers to be arranged in ascending order or in descending order. So this process continues until the value that is there in Bx. We are decrementing the Bx. Bx is nothing but the length of the array. If this value becomes zero, it will come out of the loop, it will stop the program and we will get the final output.